All right, Alec, how are we doing? Well, I'm coming down with some sickness again. I had a bunch of family visiting, young kids, and some of them were coughing, so they probably gave what they had to me. That sounds horrible. Which is, yeah, I remember we weren't even, I wasn't that sick that long ago. It, like, it was probably only a couple, couple months. You and I were sick at the same time. It was terrible. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, now I have it again, so... Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but well, besides that, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I'm so. doing fine, just fine. We're gonna That's good. talk about December 2019. Yes. We're in a completely Indeed. different decade at this point, so it's gonna be hard to remember all that long ago. But we'll do our best to recall. So, what should we start with? Gaming, television, or film? Let's take. TV. Okay. What have you, you been watching? I have I have two things to mention. You know, I have several okay. sh shows that I watch, and I'll watch like one episode here or there. But I'm only going to mention any ones that I like really make significant progress on, and that are okay. new shows. So Vikings is back. Season six is uh. Is that going to be the final season of the show, or are the they going to keep season. going with it? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. <laughs> It's good to hear when a show actually gets an ending, not for being canceled, when they decide to have an ending. Yeah. And it, it's shaping up to be good. I mean, the first four seasons of Vikings were way, like, excellent TV. The last couple seasons uh, have some good and some bad, but it's mostly good, just not as good as the earlier seasons, but I still love the characters. I really like the production values of that show. Like it, it felt like it didn't feel like way huge budget. It felt like a nice middle budget TV show, hmm. but like that kind of gave it some like appeal or charm to me. Like it didn't necessarily have to be this huge, massive ordeal per se. Um, it, it felt like it had a little restraint, which kept it, I think, a little more grounded. That's just that's just literally all what I've gleaned from previews. So yeah, it did. But I mean, season six, there's a noticeable. You can tell they got they're flexing a bit of a budget for their final season. So uh, also, <laughs> the other show I wanted to mention was The Mandalorian. Which, hey, oh, you so you've been watching that as well? I've started watching it. I'm only okay. three episodes in, okay. but uh, I have an opinion on it. Oh. Which is, could be positive or could be negative, but I will not disclose that information here. Oh, okay. For, so you want, <laughs> you want me to, do you want me to keep it relatively under wraps also? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like you, I feel it? like you talked about it already though. I, I, I probably did. <laughs> so, um, like at least you, you, yeah, I think you did last time. I did. So anyway. I did but... it, I did in November. Um, it's still the same. Uh, I mean, I sure it's no surprise. Yeah. I finished the season, so. But you don't know. My opinion may have changed between then and now. So yeah, you hate it now. Um, so yeah, it's, it's garbage. yeah. Once yeah. once I'm finished, it we'll try to do a, a little review, of the Mandalorian. That'll be cool. Yeah, we should do that because we have to review yeah. everything Star Wars now. That's ever. right. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so I mean that's all I'm gonna mention for TV. You know, I'm always watching TV stuff, but those are the two significant ones. Okay. How about you? Well, you basically took my one. Um, okay. I, I, there, there are a couple other the others though, uh, with Disney plus, uh, I've been watching boy meets world, which I think I me mentioned last time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like almost through season four now. Um, so, uh, working, working my way through quite, uh, quite well. Um, so just trying to think. So the other, and the other show uh, which is a show I'd highly recommend. I, I don't think I've really even mentioned it uh, on at all yet, but uh, it's the third season. It recently just came out, and it's a Netflix show called The Dragon Prince. Oh, yes. I've heard and of this. Yes, it's made by the same, uh, I think, Giancarlo Volpe, or Volpe, um, and I think Aaron Ehas, however you pronounce his name. Uh -huh. Yeah, All the guys behind that, Except for Michael Dante DiMartino. <laughs> He's got a pretty easy to pronounce name. But, uh... So, they, uh... Basically, some of the... 
I think it was Giancarlo Volpe and um, some of the people that were behind Avatar: The Last Airbender uh, were involved with uh, the making of the show, um, like the story and running, the, basically that being the showrunners more or less. So, so it has a pretty high, uh, you know, it has a pretty high bar, bar to to live up to. Um, I don't think it necessarily lives up to that hype, but it has a very interesting world, uh, really lovable characters, uh, and the magic system is really cool. Uh, as a really like involved uh, magic system, that's that's really interesting. Um, hmm. And the third season is great. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I liked the first two seasons a lot. So far, what I've watched of the third season, I, I've re- really been enjoying this one as well. So. Um, you, uh, your main, your lead male protagonist, is voiced also by uh, Jack Desena, who is probably going to be typecast for for ages to come for that that role. He he, he if you don't know, he played Sokka in Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, okay. So he's basically using his voice, which is the Sokka voice. So mm-hmm. yeah, um, but he's great. Uh, he's a great character. So. So my, yeah, I think um, my brother got me for Christmas. He got me all, of, all of Avatar and all of Korra on Blu-ray. Rad. So I mean, I uh, I've seen all of Avatar, but Korra I stopped midway through because it was annoying because I was trying. I had to watch it through like annoying uh, websites in order to actually watch it because there was no streaming service or anything. Gotcha. But now I can actually finish that. I have I have a lot of thoughts about Korra. Uh, I did. If you went digging through the annals of YouTube, you might be able to find it. But I did a very long, it was probably three hour breakdown of the entirety of the series with a friend I was doing the podcast with. Um, and uh, yeah, we we had thoughts, obviously. <laughs> we talked about it very in depth. So um, yeah. Nice. What movies have you seen that we haven't already talked about on Tarkaron? None. Yeah, I don't think I have either. Um <laughs> uh, we I, we kind of took we sort of went on hiatus with our our James Bond viewing um just with all the holidays we get really busy we were watching Star Wars uh we were getting involved with that uh then I had family come visiting uh towards the end of the month so uh it's yeah um I just had we haven't had really any time to watch any so um but Hopefully uh, January it's a new month, so that'll be that'll be changing. So, um, so probably so there'll be more. We'll be more more James Bond to talk about now, next month, but nothing so far this month. Um, and I didn't think there's literally any movie. I honestly can't think of one that we haven't talked I about. I want to go so. see Uncut Gems. I'd like to see that. So you say that, and I'm immediately thinking of like old retroware TV show, called <laughs> sixteen bit gems. No, oh, yeah, that's what I want to yeah. see. Yeah, sixteen bit gems, the the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of uncut about uncut, uh, uncut gems though? Yeah, that's the that's the Adam Sandler series yeah, yeah, role yeah. film, which is like mind blowing, being mind blowing and also sort of divisive. Really, I've heard some. I've heard I, heard, I, I think I yeah, I have too. Except there was like one article that was like <laughs> it's a divide with something or the other, and it was probably just trying to drum up mm. controversy for nothing. So but I'm impressed. I need to see this Adam Sandler in action. Oh, man, all right, but uh, let's move on to gaming. I, I'm hyped for 1917 personally. Uh, yes, great, that great really year. Good. Looking forward to that one. All right, gaming. Gaming, uh, I don't have anything remarkable, too much remarkable. So I've noticed looking in my year, my log for the whole year, I'm like, if I'm comparing it to previous years, I'm playing less and less video games, I've noticed. It's like, um, I don't know what it is, because I still love video games, but I guess I'm just uh, not finding as much time for them. And when I am, I'm playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's like 50% of my video game time this year, so... There's that, Borderlands. Dang, Borderlands Two. I've been playing more of with my brother. Okay, uh, that's which cool. I mentioned before. But the one new thing I've been playing is something I got for Christmas. It's called Ring Fit Adventure. Oh baby! I asked for that for Christmas. I didn't get it. But how is that? 
Uh, it's great. I think it's great. And as someone who does not exercise at all, I needed something. And of course, the only way to motivate myself is to get a video game to do it. <laughs> and it seems like um, it's annoying because you have to put a strap around your leg and it's like yep. it keeps falling off for me. Like, well, not falling off, but like drifting down. It's like put it in the middle of your thigh. And then by the end, it's like by, at my kneecap. You, know? you got to make it real tight. You got to cough circulation. And it said not too easy. tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think they anticipated legs or thighs as thick as mine to be using it. So I don't know what's going on there. There's, <laughs> <laughs> it still works, though. But I have a feeling once the adventure, there's like an adventure mode. I feel like once mm -hmm. that's done, it'll, it'll be able to do better because you can have like custom, you can actually put custom workouts and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Um, but... I mean, it's still it's still fun the way they use it as if it's a little adventure mode, and then you can like attack enemies using different exercise moves and stuff. So, yeah, it looked really cool. Yeah, it's fun, and it does actually give a good workout, and uh, you can scale it as well because mine's like in the regular difficulty or whatever, but you can make it more intense or more more difficult, and you can do it for as long as you feel like you need to. So. Very cool. Yeah, I would try it if you if you want to get some exercise in, <laughs> and, and it's like an excuse to play video games at the same time. So, yeah, that's, that's all for sweet. me. Pretty flipping sweet, yo. So for me, uh, nothing terribly new. Uh, putting more time into. Uh, I was saying I was I was playing Resident Evil Five with a friend of mine. We're still working our way through that. Uh, we finally made it into professional difficulty, uh, and we are working our way through that, and it's very hard. You're basically downed in one hit if anything hits you, uh, so nice. you, ca you kind of have to be perfect, and it's made the game kind of more tense again, which That's is cool. great, it, which is fun, because like... We went through because we went through on normal. He was kind of like tense at certain points, but once we started upgrading all of our weapons and stuff, uh, you know, we particularly in our in our second playthrough when we went through on veteran, uh, it was it was we were like doing whatever we wanted. We were kind of like running off, doing our own thing, and then like coming back together when we needed to. Uh, and this time we we're like you have to stick together as much as possible because once once you go down. It's probably like two seconds before you collapse, whereas in all, basically every other mode, it was like ten, at least ten seconds. Hmm. So it's like it's really we have to stick together, <laughs> and uh, and unfortunately that that can sometimes lead to a guy coming and swinging, and he's like yeah. hits he like hits both of us at the same time. We automatically lose, <laughs> and it's like man, that's a bad feel. Yeah. Um. But, uh, but that's been fun. Um, and uh, putting more time in Persona 5, I think I'm finally s entering the last segment of the game. <laughs> um, Jesus. It's so long. I've spent <laughs> so much time on this game that I love it. And if we were doing, which I don't think we are, but if we were doing a top 10 games of the decade, uh, this would absolutely be on my list. Um I don't know necessarily how high it would be, but it would have to be on my list. Um, this is one of the best games I've ever played. Um, I, I adore it very much. Um, but yeah, I am all I am looking forward to being. I don't want to see you like I'm. I'm looking forward to being done with it, but I think I'm going to be very satisfied when I'm when I'm finished and I can finally focus on all the other games that I I had to put I've been putting down just so I can finish it. So, do, you, do you think there's a point in these 80-hour games where it's too this is, much? This is more than 80 hours at this point. This is a well over. I mean, I granted, there was long periods of time where I'm wasting time, and I don't think the game is or I don't think the, the time I have on there is necessarily representative of how long I've really been playing the game, but I'm at like 115 hours or something. <laughs> okay, so I, I would, that I would guess I would guess probably about fifteen to twenty hours of that would include stuff like restarting after an hour of like almost an hour sometimes of like getting far and like trying to get to the next save point and then dying right before mm -hmm. I get to it and then having to go back to that save room and it's just like oh my god um, so, what's so bad. The, what's but... the ideal video game length? The ideal video game length? Yeah. At this point in my life. 
Probably about like 15 to 20 hours. Yeah. I'd I think so. that's just great. That's a, just a perfect length for me. I, I think I love JRPGs and I love the time commitment and I love long epic stories, but like you can't do so many of them at a time. And that's kind of like, that's kind of the problem. I, lo- I like long games, but I think at this point, ideal length is, is a nice short experience. So Like 100 hours is not doable for me. Even if I wanted to, I can never, I don't possess the motivation. I will easily drop the game before reaching that but point. But this game is just that good, so, you know, it's worth it. I'm sure I love that um, game. I played a little bit of it and already loved yeah. it, but I don't know if I would ever finish it. 100 <laughs> hours. <laughs> Jeez. It's a lot to ask for me. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm making sure to, like, do... You don't necessarily have to do all the things that I'm doing in it, though. Like, you don't have to do all the little side quests. You don't have to get... Because I'm, like, working on getting full uh, confidant levels with everyone. Hmm. And you don't have to do that. And that's going to extend the period, the amount of time that you're playing the game. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, it's December 2019. Yeah, um, it's... Keep coming back. Totally we got more videos all along the way. So many exciting things on the horizon. Reviews, new series, a lot of plans. Twenty twenty. Yeah, we do. Twenty twenty is going to be a. a it's going to be going to be. We got lots of things. Lots of things in the in the in the woodwork coming out. It's going to be great. Be out. I'm looking forward to it. All right, see you there. We're already there yes, in twenty twenty. Actually, twenty 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 right. vision. Yeah. <laughs>